Hello. Let me introduce myself. My name is Ayu, and this is a story about my one and only family, my guardian and my savior. Ocean, say hello. Greeted by the sunrise, breathed like the waves, and hissed like the sand. Yeah, the perks of being an ocean child make me feel grateful for every single day of my life. I'm pretty sure that my life has been a lot more better than these couple years. After my parents passed away because of a deadly disease that haunted my slums in my previous village, I have lived by all by myself. So let me tell you guys that my previous village was so disgusting. It has bad sanitation and oh my god, you won't love it. But luckily, the government released a new rule that we can't live in that place anymore. So we're transferred to a new village, a better one, with good sanitation, peaceful area, and a new hope to live. But the best part of this new village is we are near the ocean. The ocean had given us the villagers so many things, the kind of happiness that money can't buy. Seeing the sunset with all of the other villagers, oh my god, it's such a beautiful feeling. Laughing about our life's experiences, it somehow heals my loss of my parents' death. And having this kind of gift, I'm grateful for every second of it. Everyone have their own connection with this ocean. For example, Mr. Parjo, the fisherman. He used to be a thief back then when he used to still live in a slum. But now he becomes a fisherman and has a cute little family. He's so happy to be able to live in this peaceful area and forget his dark past. He's a really hardworking person. He wakes up early in the morning to fish and then feed their family. There's Miss Akar. She used to be a beggar on the street, trying to survive in this cruel world. But after the transmigration, she did a lot of research and started her own hotel business. She really understands the strength and the weakness of the beach. And then her hotel became big. There's souvenir store, children's playground, swimming pool, and well, everyone seems so happy about it. And don't forget about Dennis. He's three years older than me, but he never took any classes. People called him naughty because he always play in the field and the beach. But well, it turns out that he's a non-textbook person because playing on the beach makes him understand where to catch rare beach animals. He then opened a seafood restaurant, and the foods are so damn delicious. His restaurant became so crowded, and he became rich as well. Of course, me. Had no one left in my family, I used to think that I won't have a happy life. I don't know how does it feel to be hugged when I get a high score or to cry when I broke up with my boyfriend. I don't know and I'll never know. But the ocean gives me hope. I feel like I can regain my spirit and now I can feel happy because seeing how people changes for a better life makes me feel thankful because their happiness my happiness too. But humans are always greedy. When life gives them something, they take everything for granted. I saw destruction happen in front of my eyes. There's a lot of rubbish and trash that layers the whole beach and it keeps getting larger and larger day by day.
then I realized that when there's chaos, there should be hero. And since I love the ocean so much, as my family and savior, I should do something before it's all too late. So, I start this movement. Yep, <laughs> that's me with my schoolmates. We established a movement that gathers all community that lives surrounding the beach to clean all of those trash and rubbish. Not only the beach, we also clean up traditional markets and parks. Besides that, we also did a lot of social programs like educating the youngsters to love the earth and the ocean through creative media like animation videos because we believe that those child will be the next golden generation of this era. Planning lots of places, planting lots of trees. It's so, such a happiness. And not forget to mention the coolest garden party that we held near the beach with all of those kids though. Because the greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else would save it. So let's start our action from ourselves with what we have for the earth and ocean that we love.